What's up? It's your boy, Anthony Douglas. If you haven't already, please hit the like and subscribe button. And for anyone who's already been a listener, I greatly appreciate you. Now let's dive into the video. Today, we're going to be talking about how to be successful as a content creator. This might be able to help you out. I'm really speaking to the beginners, but you know, if you've been around in your industry for a while, hopefully this can lend you some, some support. Sometimes it's easier going back to the basics because you get so far ahead and you forget where your foundation is. Now, before we get started, okay, there is a difference between content creator and content creation. So I don't want to get the two mixed up. So I'm going to read the definition. Content creator produces entertaining or educational material that caters to the interests and challenges of target audience. The content he or she produces can take many forms, including blog posts, videos, ebooks, photos, and infographics. Content creation is the process of identifying a new topic you want to write about, deciding which form you want the content to take, formalizing your strategy, keyword or otherwise, and then actually producing it. Content creation is basically taking the idea, bringing it to life, and making it that representation of the idea of what you had. So bringing something to life, basically. Being a content creator is coming out with all the bits and pieces for that. It's not being able to, to make it into that type of thing that you like, but being able to have all the tools for it. So one of the tips of being a successful content creator in your industry, you have to stay up to date. You have to know what's going on in your industry, whether it's music, entertainment, sports, design, music, all of it. You have to stay up to date in knowing what's going on. No one's going to listen to the person who's just coming into the room on the subject. So, you know, you don't want to be that person. You stay current, which means don't go back and, and, and not re-educate yourself on what's going on in the news and what's trending. So now you have to stay there. Always stay on what's new, what's fresh, what are the new leads going on, what's being talked about, well, who said this, who said what. Next is to understand your audience because if you're someone, for example, who likes to make music, you don't want to be trying to educate people about music and you're not you're not an authority in that in that department you know you might be good in one area but you might not be in that area so you have to understand your audience because the audience is smart and you cannot fool the audience the audience are your best and worst critiques so they will tell you straight up if you know what you're talking about or not so you got to understand and also when it comes to marketing your your types of videos or whatever creation that you have you want to make sure that you're marketing to the right people you also want to continue to improve your skills watch videos of people who are in the who are in the top position to speak for these types of new things that you that you like to find your information on see how they're doing it see how they're being able to produce it edit it find out who they're in contact with where they find their inspiration you basically want to go uphill and you want to find exactly where that where that stream of knowledge and information is coming from that way you're able to replicate that same type of technique in your own content also you need to find your voice okay so if you're ever going to be heard about your content creation you need to claim it you need to stake everything that that you've been working and building up to so you need to believe it because if you don't believe it neither will they they won't believe what you believe in if you don't look like you believe in it also consider a lot of things when it comes to putting out your own work if you look like you don't really believe that your stuff is that great people are going to pick up on that so you know, I believe in vibrations. You know, frequencies and, and waves. I, I really do truly believe that that gets across. If people see that, that you put a lot of energy into your work, you know, you put a lot of effort into it and it was fun making the project, people are gonna pick up on that and it's gonna rub off on them, it's contagious. When it comes to your content creation, you don't want to talk about yourself necessarily because it's all about the creation of your projects. You know, it's not gonna be about you, it's gonna be about what, what creative mentality or state that you were in and how you brought that to life. You're gonna talk about that thing. You're not gonna talk, take yourself out of it. There is no you at this point. There was the thought and the idea and the emotion at the time of which you made that creative piece of content and now you're serving it up to them with all the love and energy, fun, pain, whatever type of content you made to the person around right a nice little dinner plate. I need to find my voice just like you need to find your voice because we're both on a path trying to get there and all I want to do is support my creators. So if there's anything useful that you found, please let me know. Also, if you think that there's something I might find useful, please let me know. You can hit the comments, send me a message, however you like to do that. I do have social media so you can find me on there in the link below and maybe we could uh, find the next topic of what you guys want to hear about and see what you like. So anyways, please hit the like and subscribe button. Holla at your boy.